I'm about to show you my flower garden beds in the front and back that I have worked on today. Um, but before I do, I want to show you a couple of the envelopes for the seeds because a lot of these flowers don't have see, uh, don't have um, flower buds yet. They won't probably for at least a couple of weeks, if not a month or two. So just to give you an idea before you see the seedlings, you have an idea of what they will look like eventually. So we'll start off with the King's Coral. This is the Coxcomb. Now I don't have an envelope. <laughs> my nails are so dirty from gardening. About to scrub them, but I don't have... Um, a photo of the other coxcomb because the packet I got was through a seed exchange and it didn't come with the photo. This gives you an idea of what coxcomb looks like. Look like that beautiful velvety um, velvety brains as I put it. This is the king coral. Another plant I'm growing is globe amaranth and uh, I think they're just gonna look I think they're just gonna look so pretty when they uh, are done. These are the what bachelor's buttons effectively look like and then this is one I've never grown or seen before. I might have seen it, but not been aware of what it was. This is Maltese Cross, which I have in the backyard. These are the two that I have in the backyard. Plus, the other plant that I don't have a photo of at the moment is Cleomes. And that's because I also got those through um, seed swaps. But I believe that they have, like, somebody told me they look like little firework flowers. Anyway. All right, so let me show you the garden. Here's my front yard garden. Um, you can see the... The flowers aren't very big, or plants aren't very big. These are, remember the king coral I just showed you? Those beautiful purple brains, velvet brains, that's what those will be. These are the Cleome flowers. That's more uh, coxcomb mix over there. I don't know if you, all, you can see it. Over there I have some globe amaranth growing, and I planted the majority of the globe amaranth over there. And then, you know, I just couldn't help but buy some marigolds when I was at Home Depot the other day, uh, getting other supplies. So, that was pretty exciting to me. And while we're here, I thought I'd mention I got this neat um, sign for the part of the yard that I'm not pulling up or I want wildflowers to grow. Um, and hopefully that'll make the neighbors more happy. Last thing I want to show you is this neat little spring surprise. Check it out. I have flowers growing that survived the winter. These are called lavender verbena. And you can see there's beautiful little buds coming up and that'll be neat to have some flowers that I didn't have to work hard to uh to grow that are coming up survive the mild winter I guess there's some benefit to a mild winter huh the reason I can't plant um vegetables right now look at these beautiful beautiful <laughs> pots sitting out here and I have to just keep putting them away the reason I can't plant them right now is because it's going to be in the 40s again next week and um I've heard that you really need the temperatures to be in the 50s at night. Um, daytime temperatures don't matter a whole lot. They help the ground get warm, I've read, but um, you really need that um, warm temperatures to be able to grow vegetables. And while I'm willing to risk the flowers, I'm not willing <laughs> to risk my vegetables yet. So, um, But I'm probably going to transplant some of them into separate containers so that their root systems can grow independent of each other and they'll have less of a hard transition when I go to, to plant them. Also when I give them away to, to family and friends. This is my other flower garden. I put this stake here mostly just to stop the dogs because they used to love to run through this thing, this area, because they'd love to run from the back. Uh, but So these are my bachelor buttons I planted about three weeks ago. They were tiny when I planted them. They were seedlings out of jugs and they're doing great. And I'm pretty sure I saw a bud forming. It feels like a bud forming right there, but who knows? That might not be. I don't know bachelor's buttons that well. Otherwise, these are these are called um, Maltese Cross. There's more of the Cleome. You saw I planted some up front, but I had so many in the jug that I just decided to plant some more. These are so. This is all a combination of the Maltese Cross or the Cleomes, and the Maltese Cross. I looked it up, and they get like three to four feet tall, so they'll probably take up this whole space and eventually I won't need to have this fence to keep the dogs out. It's more of a, they could plow through it if they want, but you know, who wants to get a face full of wire? Probably not these dogs. So anyway, uh, that's, oh, one more thing with flowers, even though it's not my flower bed. I want to show you, check this out. My peas have little flowers. Look at the pretty, come on, focus. The pretty pea. 
flowers. These are my little marble peas and I'm so excited to see the flowering because that means that we will have peas soon. So that is what's happening with the flower beds at the moment. Uh, please check back in and I'll show you the progress as well as when I get around to planting the vegetables, which will hopefully be soon. It looks like it could be as late as like um, Memorial Day potentially. But anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, and always hit that like button and be awesome. See you next time.